So this is going to be part one in a series on how to do a paint correction. So first step is wash it. So we're using the two bucket wash method. If you don't know what that is, Google it, watch a video or something, and come back. So soap bucket, rinse bucket. If you can see that on the paint, those little orange spots, they look like you actually have something on top of the paint. <laughs> But what they really are is their contamination that gets inside the pores of the paint. And most of the time it's railway dust, which is iron. So that's why they turn orange, especially on a white colored car like this. They light up bright orange because it's actually rust forming in the pores of your paint. And that's something that you can't remove by washing or um, polishing because it's actually down in the pores. You have to use something to dissolve it. So this is one of those things that a lot of people don't even know about or think about. I mean, a lot of people know how to wash a car or wax. Um, some know how to clay bar, that's a lot more common. Unless you have a white car or a silver car or something light colored, a lot of times people don't would never notice this. This happens to a lot of brand new cars. Most cars are transported on trains to across the country to get to the dealerships. So they actually have a ton of railway dust embedded in the paint when they show up on the lot. So this is what I'm using. It's uh, McKee's Extreme Iron Remover. So it removes iron and any other industrial fallout. It actually dissolves it in the paint. Washing your bike. If you wanna have me there, I know I'm not gonna walk in space. No matter how you talk with me. Wash, wash, wash my bike. Wash my bike. I need some soap. Every year you clean it. No, wash your bike. So you can like literally see the iron streaking and it turns purple because of the reaction when you uh, dissolve iron with an acid you get purple. So the next step is just to wash all this off um, and it should pull all that right out of the paint. Everything dissolved now. Happy now, Mama? Yes. Clean car? Very. Here you go, Daddy. 
When you clean the wife's car, you get brownie points. Happy wife, happy life. It's a true story. So the next step after removing all the below surface contaminants is to remove anything that's on top or anything else that wasn't dissolvable. So I was planning on trying to uh, clay bar her car today as well, but I just ran out of time. The sun's going down. I got to go help with the kids. Um, so I think we're going to do that tomorrow um, and shoot that as another video. So till then.